Hello and welcome back to spiderworking.com's video blog and this week in part three of our series on Facebook privacy I'm going to be showing you how to lock down those final few things. So we're going to be looking at how you can change privacy settings on photographs that are already online and on photographs that you're uploading and I'm also going to be showing you how you can block individual status updates for individual or groups of people. If you haven't viewed part one and part two already, I would suggest you do to do specifically part one because that shows you how to set up the lists that are so helpful in this process. So if you'd like to view those, the links are coming up here now. There's two of them. And then let's go into your Facebook page and I'll take you through the steps on the photographs and the status updates. So when you reach your home page, you want to click account on the top right hand side and from the drop down menu that appears you want to choose privacy settings that will bring you into this page where we were last week click customize settings and then at the bottom here edit album settings and from here you choose from your albums the same drop down menu that you'll be used to now you can customize your settings so you can include or block individual specific people or people from the list that you created in part one of this so I'm going to make it friends only, but I'm going to also exclude it from my test list. And from myself for some reason. Once you've chosen all the people you want to block it from, you click save settings. Now when you go back into the page, if you're creating a new album, you can set the settings when you're actually creating the album. So if you, after you've selected the photos you want to add, you'll see there's a drop down menu here and as before you can choose who you want to see it and who you don't want to see it or you can customize it finally I'm going to show you how to just post your status update to specific people so create your status update and some people will wonder what was going on here today when I was typing this once you have it written you want to click the little drop down menu that's next to that padlock and again you get to choose from who you do and don't want to see the list so we're going to customize it and just as before you start typing the names of the people or the lists of people that you don't want to see that update so sorry Lorna and then simply click share and that's it so now if you've followed part one, part two and part three of this video series, you'll know exactly how to lock down your privacy settings and customise them exactly as you want them. And that's it for this week. We'll see you again next week. In the meantime, why not click like on our Facebook page? Follow this link and click like at the top of the page and we'll keep you up to date with hints and tricks on using social media for your business. Otherwise, I'll see you next week. Bye.